Coming up on the ramen. The soup for college students. See you real life albino. Seen any rodents lately? Call Clayton Rougelo if you know what I mean. And I'll fill you in on the best Super Bowl commercial of the year. Hello, Sex Appeal. You're watching the most watched program on LSU's campus, The Ramen. The Soup for College Students. The Ramen, The Soup for College Students. Hosted by Ben Wallace and Caitlin Fish. Movie news with Matt McKay. Music news with Lamar Narcisse. And a cornucopia of award-winning ramen reporters. And created by entertainment extraordinaire Jordan Wall. Welcome to The Ramen. The soup for college students. You may know us as the most popular television program on Tiger Television. And the only show to ever cure AIDS. But now we've reached an all-time high. LSU rapper JC's performance on our season two premiere has been picked up by Tosh Point. Oh my god, look how glorious it is. But I digress. Every girl likes to look good for the guys. It boosts confidence and to strut past a group of man candy and know they're checking you out. Ramen alumnus Jessica Godot highlights the closet essentials to transform your look from eye popping to guy popping. Dear sweet girl, are you upset that you don't have a man panion to spend Valentine's Day with? Yeah. Don't worry, the problem probably isn't your chunky thighs, dead personality, or lack of drive. It's your wardrobe. Really? Take notes. Here's the styles that guys love. Okay. Leggings. It's okay if they aren't real pants. Wear them as so. Nike shorts. The more pairs, the better. Creates the illusion that you want to work out, even though we all know that you want to. Rain boots. Shows a guy you're fashionable and ready for hurricane weather, even if it isn't sprinkly. But leggings as pants, I know you've probably heard that, but leggings aren't pants. Leggings. I can't take it. They're not pants at all. And those track shorts, they were original at some point, but now everybody's wearing them. And it's not, it's not cool anymore. I hate those rubber boots with the flashy, flowery things. Girls, you might be thinking you're looking hot, but according to the guys, you're not. For Tiger TV's The Ramen, I'm Jessica Godot. Well, as you can tell, sometimes those eyes aren't always ogling. Sometimes they stare at you because you look like a fool. The saddest part is that most girls know guys don't find those fashion statements attractive, yet girls choose to wear them anyway. I have a dream that one day all women ages 18 to 25 will throw away Nike shorts, wear real pants, and only wear rain boots when it rains. And I have a dream that dream never comes true. Why would I want to date a guy that goes to class anyway? A uh, loser. But how many of you out there celebrated the Year of the Rabbit? Reporting from Chinatown, senior Asian correspondent Anthony Nguyen shows us the role superstition plays in the Chinese New Year. Ah, a new year under the lunar calendar allows many Asians to celebrate their most favorite holiday of the year. No, not canine feasting day, but the Chinese New Year. But there are a few superstitions people follow to ensure a year of prosperity, fortune, and luck. For starters, many Asians light up their house on fire with fireworks to scare away the old year and to welcome the new year. The entire house should be clean before New Year's Day. The Asians believe cleaning, like sweeping and mopping, will sweep away all of your good luck. Using foul language also brings bad luck. Welcome to the Ramen Institute. Moments ago, we gave some people the awesome new ramen packs. Let's see what they think. 
What the f Frank. <laughs> Holy sh Sheila. That is one bag. Mickey Ficky. The rumor has it that if you break these superstitions, a year's worth of bad luck will be fall upon you. Like that will ever happen. After tripping over shoelaces, <laughs> falling downstairs, losing money while gambling, and failing a test, you may realize you have the worst luck of all. Or maybe after eating all those poor dogs, the canine spirits came back to seek revenge. Ah, poor guy. Must have been bad luck. Maybe the rumors were true after all. For Tiger TV's The Ramen, this has been Anthony Nguyen. What happened to your car? Was it those temps from the CareerBuilder.com Super Bowl commercial? If only you had driven the slug bug. It seems to dodge all things nature. For more Super Bowl commercial insight, here's commercial guru Benjamin Wallace. And here I am. Are you ready to laugh? <laughs> Me too. That's why we're going to talk about the best of the best of Super Bowl 45 commercials. And none of the bad ones, because who cares about those anyway? On to the winners. I'm giving the best of show to Doritos, the company itself, because they had three hilarious commercials. And uh, here's a cornucopia of them all. Check it out. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, cheese. Beautiful Thursday morning. Next up, the segment... Grandpa, Mikey, hey, come on, you want a little TV? Ah, uh, Doritos, the cure all things except obesity snack. There were other notables too, though. Volkswagen unleashed a revving beetle that took turns like Jeff Gordon. Young Darth Vader finally found the force. E trade baby and a cat sneezing. Pepsi Max. Packs a punch stronger than Four Loco. Snickers proved that nothing cures back pain quite like chest pain. And uh, Shape Ups in Hollywood reminding us that nothing sells a product quite like sex appeal. Ah, the rewind. Point in case, I hope Brooklyn Decker ages something like Jennifer Aniston. You know, she's bronze, she's beautiful, and... I want to sleep with her, 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 I want to... Where did that come from? Yeah, so I must have forgot to put that in the um, honorable mention montage. Yeah. So commercials were good. Yeah, commercials good. And, and enjoy these next commercials, even though they probably won't be as entertaining. Sorry.